Greetings, my name is Chris aka The Philosopher's Games or TPH Games as my little games channel here is called and today I asked myself the question what does actually happen if you install Starfield on a HDD so on a hard disk drive versus an SSD a solid state drive which is much much faster than an HDD and the answer is relatively surprising and it seems the recommendation to install it on an SSD makes absolutely sense. And I already used a relatively fast consumer HDD with 7200 revolutions per minute. First of all, you would expect longer loading times and those we definitely get if you install it on an HDD. And Starfield loves its loading screens. You go from space to planet, from planet to space, into a building, into your ship, fast traveling, etc. Every time you get a loading screen. And depending on what there is to load, it is longer or shorter. On an SSD, it's usually like a couple of seconds, maybe like 20 seconds at most. And on an HDD, the loading time, especially loading into the game, just took forever. I used 4K and max settings, so everything on ultra, and it literally took a couple of minutes to load into the game. It seems though when you reduce the settings to 1080p and medium settings, it's much reduced but it's still far over a minute. That was already relatively annoying. But some people of you might say, well then I have just longer loading screens, at least I don't have to buy an SSD for the game. Unfortunately, it's not just longer loading screens. For example, if you are exploring, at some point the game has to load in data and freezes for like 4 seconds to do so and then it continues. When it runs, it runs normally FPS wise, but every now and then you get these long freezes. As you can imagine, that is very annoying in firefights, especially if the game freezes when you fire a weapon. And that can actually happen quite a few times, or if you change your weapon. One could argue if you don't do much shooting in the game and talk your way through the game, then it might be okay-ish, but still keep in mind, even transitioning through big areas also creates freezes. But that's not the only issue. Further, also, the music seems to be sometimes stopping to play or not fitting um, the circumstances and so on. And I think what is most annoying that sometimes if you shoot a weapon or so that the sound is often not played correctly. Sometimes with a lot of delay, sometimes not at all and you see the shots but don't hear sound and so on. And here it becomes then really annoying. I wouldn't say it's completely unplayable but it's not a great experience and I would not recommend it. So the conclusion is that Starfield unfortunately really needs an SSD to play. I hope this video was remotely useful to anyone. If so, maybe press the like button and do the YouTube things, leave a comment. Maybe subscribe, would be much appreciated. I also might stream Starfield a bit on Twitch after this video here releases. Thank you for watching and see you next time.